everybody we are in latvia madonna a town not far from the riga capital of uh, latvia about uh, 150 kilometers and uh, now here in madonna there is a fis roller ski world championship uh, 2019 we invite you to sprint uh, finals uh, and we uh, will begin uh, from semi-finals uh, we i mean uh, everybody uh, spectators and uh, commentators uh, my name is andrei kandrashov and my colleagues uh, martins niklas uh, chairman of the ski roller committee international uh, ski federation Welcome back uh, to Madonna. We just uh, had a uh, broadcasting one hour ago with a uh, qualification live and we are right now back to the quarterfinals. And during this one hour, uh, we had a little bit change. You see that uh, no more uh, shiny sky. We got some uh, rain showers, so the asphalt are quite wet. And probably it will make some changes also for athletes. They will need to think what kind of equipment they will use for this uh, race in quarterfinals because uh, it's not so good grip anymore you need to think about equipment and also some changes in technique so the uh, uh, sprint qualification uh, so give us uh, uh, 16 best riders in each group uh, junior women uh, junior men senior women and the senior men and now in each uh, group uh, there are uh, four runs uh, for uh, it uh, four kids and the uh, best uh, two uh, riders in uh, each kids uh, to next round. The first uh, round, first uh, hit uh, in uh, junior women in the quarterfinals. Number one, uh, the leader of uh, qualification, uh, she has the best uh, time. Uh, she represents Norway, uh, Julia Henrietta Arnesen. Number eight, uh, representing Russia, Ksenia Isaichenkova, and eight uh, result, uh, eight time in qualification. Number nine, Slovakian rider Mariana Klementova, and number 16, Anastasia Makarina, Ukraine. Yes, uh, and uh, the roller ski sprint finals are uh, running according to the ICR, international competition rules. Uh, and they are similar as in cross country. Uh, only here we are using four athletes in a heat. Uh, in winter, usually right now we are using uh, six athletes, but uh, this uh, four athlete uh, system was still developed in, uh, some years ago. So you can see that uh, uh, the starters are instructing about the uh, starting procedures and the heat is, the heat is going on. Let's, uh, okay, we'll, uh, let's uh, follow the uh, first. Uh, the run. And you can see that uh, Julian uh, Henriette uh, is uh, leading uh, this run very, very fast, uh, like 15 to meters in front of other rivals. So she's very confident. Uh, and very important technical information regarding uh, the track. Uh, only 200 meters uh, the length of uh, the distance, uh, sprint uh, distance, but uh, the hill, the real hill, because uh, the average uh, uh, gradient about uh, five uh, percent yes, and, uh, uh, Julia R. Arneson uh, uh, was one of the best one of the best uh, uh, in uh, absolute ranking in uh, qualification and Xenia Isanchenko uh, also gets to the next round uh, and uh, Marina Clementova on a third spot and Anastasia Makarina on a fourth as we already said before, best two athletes, uh, not, not depending on time, just on places in the uh, quarterfinal advancing to the semifinal. So it's no matter how, how fast you are, you must be a number, uh, number one or number two to get to the semifinals. Uh, this is the real elimination race uh, or knockout uh, reglament uh, formula. So the second run. Uh, number four, uh, Maria Papova, Russia. Number five, Kristina uh, Sivakova, Slovakia. Uh, and one more Slovakian, 
Ryder Maria uh, Danielova, number 13, and number 12, uh, Nora Lingel, Sweden. And first five meters for the each uh, final, they must do in classical technique. Uh, it, uh, it can be double polling, but you also can make a diagonal style like we saw it in, in uh, sprint qualification for guys. And now athletes are already in half of a track. You can see that the asphalt is wet and not so easy to keep the grip. And uh, two left lanes are uh, leading. And number five is uh, Kristina Sikokova, uh, who won this uh, race. And Maria Popova is uh, on a second spot. So, uh, just before the uh, beginning of uh, the quarterfinal, uh, light rainy uh, make, uh, made uh, the surface uh, a little bit uh, slippery. Yeah, but we are lucky that I watched uh, several uh, pictures and videos from other cities today in Latvia, and some cities have 30 or 50 centimeters uh, water on streets running. So we are lucky that we are quite uh, good conditions, and let's hope that it will continue until the end of the day. And uh, uh, the next, uh, the third uh, run, uh, junior women uh, uh, semi uh, quarterfinal, of course. Uh, uh, number 15, uh, representing Latvia, Liva uh, Sakno. Uh, number uh, 10, uh, Mazuro Tamay from uh, Slovakia. Number number seven, and uh, this is uh, the red beep, uh, the winner of uh, the yesterday interval start, uh, the world champion 2019 from Russia, Anastasia Faleva. And number two, Alba Mortagna, Italy. So the starting judge is instructing about the starting procedures so they don't make any mistakes because any uh, false start leads to the yellow card, and if you get to uh, two yellow cards, you are out of competition, so nobody wants to <laughs> get a yellow card. The rule of the first uh, uh, double pulling uh, uh, star, uh, starting, uh, st uh, the, 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 the first uh, um, a few meters uh, only double pulling, is this ordinary rule or not? It's an it's, uh, international competition on cross-country rules, uh, article was 355.5, that you must, in heat start, you must use the classical technique. It doesn't say that it must be double folding. You can go like uh, Montana Alba right now, she, she did in uh, diagonal. It's some kind of new development we see exactly here. It's a freestyle, and uh, that is why after the first uh, five uh, meters, uh, you can use uh, uh, any uh, uh, style. Yeah, actually, a free technique it means you, you can go onto a finish in classical also. It doesn't uh, forbid the classical technique. Uh, but of course, the uh, free technique is much faster. It's very important uh, to um, get uh, the maximal uh, speed in the first meters uh, just after the start. And uh, the Italian rider demonstrators show us uh, the best way. Yeah. Yeah, of course, uh, you must learn for this way. If you just try it first time, probably you will not gain any benefits. But if you train it, uh, especially in uphill, in uphill it, you, you can get more, uh, more uh, acceleration by this uh, using all the body, not just only your hands or upper body. Anastasia Faleva, uh, the world, uh, the new world uh, champion, uh, he won yesterday uh, 10, 10 kilometers uh, interval classical uh, start uh, out of the race. And now the final quarter final for a junior woman are lined up on a starting line. And number three is Agafono Angelina. Okay. Number six, uh, num number 11, uh, Rosa Simari, uh, Germany. Uh, number 14, Laura Mortagna, Italy, younger sister. And uh, number six, uh, Sarah Anderson, Sweden. The beeps uh, according to uh, the qualification results. And again, the Italian at least using the same technique, and you can see that she got an uh, extra meter in the first five meters by this. Of course, it doesn't promise you the best place on the finish, but still, let's see what happens. I know that the first uh, three, uh, th 30 meters, uh, the most uh, steepest, uh, I think more than uh, five uh, uh, percent. 
and that is why it's very important uh, to uh, take it very fast time. Yeah, but Russia and uh, its Swedish athletes uh, got uh, first two places. Uh, Angelina and Sarah Anderson. The fastest uh, skiers in uh, qualification uh, go to the next round. Uh, so. so we are done with the quarterfinals for junior women, and the next, the next category in uh, world championships, uh, senior uh, women, senior woman and. Uh, also 16 athletes uh, grouped in four quarterfinals. In the start list, uh, uh, there are 16 riders representing nine countries uh, uh, from Sweden, Italy and Germany, uh, two skiers, uh, Slovakia, Belarus, Ukraine, Czech Republic and uh, Latvia one, but uh, the full roster uh, Russian team, five riders. Uh, let's explain why five uh, more than uh, quarter for uh, in, in, in every world championships uh, distance you can enter four athletes plus former world champion in same category so if you have been a former world champion so it means you have free wild card to take part in, in the same discipline uh, for world championship now uh, the first run uh, senior women uh, quarterfinal Number 16, Melina Schottes, Germany. Number 8, Jacqueline Lochner, Sweden. Number 8, Valentina Kaminska, Ukraine. And number 1, Lynn Sovskar, current leader. And she has yellow big. Current leader of World Cup. And this competition, uh, not only World Championship, this is a part, this is the second part, the second stage of the World Cup. Yes. Uh, in, in, in our world, the uh, World Ski World Championships and World Cup rules, is a World Championships also counting for the uh, actual season World Cup points. Sovskar uh, Kaminska, current leader, not Kaminska, Jacqueline Lochner. Two Swedish, Swedish uh, skiers uh, to next uh, round, uh, to the semi final. Tomskar took the first place and Jackie Mokna took second. It seems that uh, the two left lanes uh, watching from the finish are more successful than, than other lanes on the right. And Valentina Kaminska was third and uh, Melina Schottes was fourth. Unfortunately, Valentina Kaminska, the participants of uh, two Olympics in uh, cross country skiing uh, out of the races, but very interesting uh, participants uh, in the next uh, run, uh, run number uh, two. Number 13, uh, Julia Richter, Germany. Number 12, uh, Victoria Lukashova, uh, Russia. And number five, uh, the current uh, world uh, champion, uh, Olga Litucheva. Olga Litucheva, champion of the year, the world number five. And number four, the most experienced uh, rider representing Slovakia, Alona Prohaskova. And uh, she's a uh, world uh, cup champion last year. Two Russians and Slovakia and uh, Germany, but it seems that Alona is uh, going in front. No. Prohaskova Litucheva. Letu uh, Prohaskova Letucheva to semi-final. Maybe we will see some slow motion on the finish line. Alena Prohaskova, uh, silver medalist of the last uh, World uh, Championship in sprint. Uh, uh, she is participant of four Olympics. Uh, she. Uh, and she's quite universal, she, yes, she's good both yes. on sprint and also on distance races. And therefore she's been uh, two times already uh, overall World Cup leader. Champion. And hit number three also, the first, the first stop. So the warning to number ten. Let's see, uh, was, it, is it, was it technical restart or is it a yellow card? Because uh, sometimes maybe it's, uh, uh, how to say, wrong action from starter, maybe. He, and what uh, was the difference? Uh, no, I mean, it can be that uh, 
starter gives a wrong uh, command and uh, athlete is doing already uh, starting move so it's uh, it looks like it was no yellow card but uh, for sure it, it must be Mike and then, then this run, Lisa Bolta, number two, Italy, uh, number seven, Irina Sivina, uh, Russia, and uh, number ten, Sandra Suetsova, Czech Republic. And uh, number seven, number ten, to semi-final, Irina Sivina, Russia, and uh, Sandra Suetsova, Czech Republic. And unfortunately, only Latvian uh, girl, Kitty Ozenia, is out of uh, quarterfinals. Uh, so we will not see any... Latvian athlete uh, to the senior woman finals. But in senior men, uh, a lot of uh, Latvian sprinters. There will be at least two. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but of course we are we are watching and following the all athletes, and uh, we can't be biased to any athlete. We are just uh, hoping that, of course, if you, if you have a local athlete, it will be more interesting for spectators to follow the race. But I missed uh, number two, Lisa Bolzan, uh, so out of the race uh, in the previous uh, run. No, she's number three, yes, yeah. she's out of race. Oh! Uh, it's only Irina. Uh, it's not sensation, but... Uh, um. Yes, we are, uh, we have Slovakia and Czechia. Uh, in previous and the last, uh, and the last uh, quarterfinal, uh, senior women, number three, uh, Anna Bolzan, Italy. Number six, uh, Maria Nidukina, Belarus, and two Russian uh, skiers. Uh, number 11, Svetlana Nikolaeva, and number 14, Yekaterina Kuznetsova. Svetlana Nikolaeva, uh, the medalist uh, of the uh, last uh, world uh, champion, but not the uh, sprint distance, uh, not a uh, uh, discipline. Uh, uh, number 14, Yekaterina Kuznetsova broke her pole, and she's unlucky out of the it's impossible uh, to compete without uh, one pool in so short distance. So, number three, Italy, and number six, uh, Belarus to mm, semi final. Bolzan, Italy, and Nidukina, Belarus. And both Russian riders, unfortunately, out of the race. And the next uh, group, uh, category uh, junior men. Uh, junior men are already on distance. We had uh, Alexander Gorev from Russia, Maxim Shiskin from Russia, Denis Tilesh from Slovakia, Andrea Gartner from Italy. What happened? No, sorry, they are back. It's a uh, false start. It's false start. Let's see. No, no. It's, it was false start. Uh. Let's see who, uh, what camera will show. And yes, uh, probably the second gunshot was uh, too late and at least didn't hear, so they went very far. Let's hope we will get some information. And the next uh, start with our pulse uh, start. Uh, number one, of course, the best uh, rider in qualification round, uh, Alexander Grigoriev. Uh, he uh, took, sil took silver medal yesterday at the 20 kilometers interval classical start, uh, and uh, he is now very fresh. Uh, but uh, the real fight for the second place. Yes, it seems that it was uh, Maxim Shishkin, but let's wait for the polar finish if it will be needed. In start list uh, of uh, junior men quarterfinal, uh, there are eight countries. Uh, Russia represent four. It is uh, Latvia, three. Skiers, Norway, Italy, Lithuania, all uh, two riders, and Sweden, Slovakia, and uh, Germany won. If you look at the results, it shows that uh, Denis Tilesh from uh, Slovakia got uh, second spot on, on fight. And the second uh, second run, uh, uh, Red uh, Beep, uh, Johan Egberg, uh, current World Cup leader, and uh, again the three riders. Uh, Ready to fight for the 
only two places and uh, so and for Lars copper colors copper colors the competition is over but still he had the opportunity to have one fight in uh, quarterfinals it's a great experience for this young athlete and Johan Egberg, uh, number four, the current uh, World Cup leader out of the race and uh, to semi-final. Um, Dmitry Karakos of Russia and uh, Paulinas Yanushkevichus, Lithuania. As run number three. Number two, uh, Ilya Praskurin, Russia. And we have two Norwegians, Almond. Korasches, uh, number seven, and Jonas uh, Fidlund, number 10. And number 15, uh, Kilian Kober, Germany. To Norway, Skiers uh, versus uh, Russian in Germany. There are some technical issues, so waiting for possibility to start. Uh, I just remind that in the first heat, uh, the quarterfinal, uh, Alexander Grigorov was first and uh, Denis Tilesz was second and Maxim Sishkin was third and Andrea Gardner was number four in the heat. Yes, it's uh, 200 meters. It's to be or not to be. It's uh, no time to think. Just make your best move and uh, push as much you can and let's hope that everything goes fine and you are in two spots on a in top 10 uh, qualification mm -hmm. round uh, and was very close to results yes and, and actually you can you can be very good in qualification you but you must be able to run at least four four times uh, your best time so you must be able also to be on quarterfinals and semifinals and if you are lucky to, uh, to a final so it means also you need some kind of speed endurance uh, to, to, to recover it between the rounds and be fresh for the next round in cross country sometimes i remember andres andre newell was uh, very good on qualification but uh, it was not easy for him to get for the next rounds uh, in sprints so of course here it's it's quite short and uh, you are not so full of lactic acid but uh, still i don't know what what is uh, what is the issue of uh, this pause uh, pause but let's hope that it will one day it will be finished but, uh, uh, it was a uh, previous uh, picture demonstrates uh, very good the steepest part of the very beginning of uh, 200 uh, meters distance Probably some technical issues. Here we hear Eric Bjorlind, assistant uh, TD of the jury, who is helping. Uh, he works together with Alexandra Veleschuk. Janis Puida and uh, Gunnar Sikonix are four jury members, which are most busy persons in this competition, focusing on the details, which are maybe not seen for spectators and athletes and um, people from the side, but it's a it's lot of technical details and maybe uh, roller skiing is still not on such a high level in terms of equipment, for example, as you notice, since in winter we have uh, electronic starting gate. Here in summer, it's uh, so far we don't uh, use the electronic starting gate because it's asphalt and it's, uh, it's not so easy to to put them on asphalt. But uh, who knows? Maybe in future, this equipment will be developed that way that we will have electronic starting gates and also it will be easier to to. Uh, control the false start uh, uh, issues uh, for the all skin sprint. Uh, I suppose uh, the organizing committee in Madonna very experienced uh, um, because uh, the last, uh, um, as far as I know, five uh, or more years uh, here, uh, there were uh, different uh, kind uh, of international 
uh, competition like uh, World Cup, uh, ski rollers, uh, world, uh, like uh, continental, uh, world, uh, continental cups, uh, and so on. Yes, I uh, agree. Uh, we are been uh, organizing the World Cup for four years and uh, Scandinavian Cup for seven years, and also international affairs competitions in cross country. But still, uh, yes, uh, every every cup competition has these, uh, some speci specific details, uh, which you are more focused. And uh, yes, it seems that we are ready for the very nervous start for this run. And it goes uh, without uh, any false start. I remind you, number two, Ilya Praskurin, Russia. Number seven, Armut Korsat, uh, Norway. Uh, another Norway, Jonas uh, Friedlund, Rada, and uh, Kilian Kober, Germany. Number uh, 15. Oh, Ilya Praskurin, uh, it's much better than others. But the fighting for the second place uh, between uh, Norway. Riders. I think, yeah, it's both Norway guys who were fighting for the second spot. Let's see what do we do. Have some side watch, side camera. Uh, slow motion. Uh, but yes, we have uh, Ilya Prasquil was the first, and Amund Korashet, uh, uh, number seven, got second spot, and uh, Jonas Fidlund, the third, and Kilian Kober. And the last run for junior uh, quarterfinals. We have two Latvian uh, guys and one uh, Italian and one Lithuanian. It's like uh, Baltic competition between the Italian guy, but okay. And uh, potential leaders, uh, Latvian uh, skiers, uh, number three and number six. Oh. Fast start, of course. <laughs> but uh, who is uh, the some kind of theater? Actually, is already blaming some somebody else, not themselves. Uh, maybe uh, just the, the three runners uh, get the warning. Nobody. Unfortunately, we don't see on the screen who, who, who got the yellow card. Probably number three, solid. And again, uh, Italian rider um, show us uh, very interesting uh, style at the start, uh, just a meter. So. But uh, the current leader at the uh, half of the distance, number three, Nix Saulidis. And he's much better, but uh, who will be the second? The Latvian uh, again. And two Latvian uh, skiers uh, to semi final. Yes, it's good to see that uh, uh, some local athletes uh, can make a good race, of course. Uh, uh, but uh, it's still two more rounds. It's semi final, and if you're lucky, you, you can go for a final. Uh, Good hit for Nick Salitz and Ilvars Bisenix. Uh, not so lucky, Lorenzo Masiero and Venus Simonutis. And, and, and welcome uh, to the last uh, quarterfinal group, uh, senior men. Yeah, uh, much more tension, much more adrenaline, much more testosterone we will see here. Um, so Number one, Miti Varonin, Russia. Uh, number eight, uh, oh, five start, number 16. Uh, Arthur Brands, uh, unfortunately, yes. Now we see yellow card. Now he knows what is a yellow car color means. And the other yellow card, uh, but uh, any riders uh, will get disqualification. Yes, that's it. Arthur probably hopes that nothing or all. He will, he will catch some tens of seconds in start, but. Uh, so Russia, Italy, Norway, Latvia, and uh, very, uh, very fast uh, start uh, by uh, Dmitry Baronin. He won a lot of uh, time, newest contender in the qualification round, and now he is a leader and the winner of this race. And uh, who is the second? Uh, number 10, Norway let's or see. Italy? Let's see, let's see, let's wait, just wait. Uh, guess. Uh, 
the Vronin uh, won uh, World Cup in uh, Antimasiiske sprint competition last year, and he is a bronze medalist of the last uh, world last year, uh, last uh, two years ago. Italy, it seems it's Italy. Yes, it's Michele Valerio from Italy. Varonin and Valerio is going to the semi-final and uh, the best in qualification and now uh, they are best in the quarter-final. Next run, number four, Evangelinski, Russia. And yeah. again, again, number 13, false start, uh, he is Christian Ankersen, Norway. Two Russians in this run, uh, Evangelinski, number four, and number five, Konstantin Klimushin. Двое российских лыжников, спринтеров в этом заезде. And uh, Italy represents Francesco Pekis, number 12. So, again, a specific technique is starting first meters for number 5. And the very high tempo on number four. Uh, this is Ivan Zelinsky. Oh, it's a very tough uh, finish. Uh, but uh, the winner, number four. It seems that number four and number five are advancing to the next heat. As usually, it's in quarterfinals. Um, uh, athletes who had best qualification time goes to the semi-final, but uh, with every next round, it's, it's getting more tricky. At number 13, Christian Ankersen. Uh, yes, as Anker second, uh, Ankersen second in this run, and uh, he will participate in the next round. Konstantin Klemushkin is number four, three, and Bekis Francesco is number four. And uh, the third uh, run, number two, Vitaly Smirnov, Russia, number seven, Emanuele Bekis, Italy, number nine, uh, number, yes, number nine, uh, Ragnar Bragvin Andresen, uh, Norway, and number 15, uh, Pontus Hermason, Sweden. And this kid has, I would say, most ex exceptions or expectation from uh, from Emmanuel Beckis and Ragnar Andersen, uh, which are le both are legends of roller ski sprint, and of course other athletes are must be encountered. But you can see that Beckis is uh, going very fast. Well done, Emmanuel Beckis. Uh, So the two-time world uh, champion, uh, the junior world uh, champion, the, one of the best, and maybe the best uh, sprinter of the last few years, and now the best again. Who is the second? Uh, Vitaly Smirnov from Russia. So far on the result uh, screen we have only Emmanuel Bekis as number one, but we are waiting, probably they are watching the photo finish. Vitaly Smirnov uh, was the finalist of the last uh, World uh, Champs uh, two years ago, and uh, he won uh, uh, bronze medal. But now, it's a question. Yeah. We are still waiting for uh, analyzing of photo finish and decision of jury. Who will be the number two? Here's the Bekis, and here's the. Yeah, I think in Norway. Andersen, Ragnar, Ragnar. Yes, Andersen. Yes, Andersen is number it two. And Vitaly Smirnov is out of uh, game. Yes, and the last uh, quarterfinal man, number three, Justin Olafsson, Norway, number six, uh, Alessio, Alessio Berlanda, Italy. Number 11, Raimo Vigansi, uh, Latvia, and uh, Sweden, Alfred uh, Bosquist. It seems that Belan Alessio and Jostin Olofsson will be fighting just... Alessio Berlanda, the oldest, uh, yes, oldest uh, athlete in our races, uh, 40 years. Uh, and uh, he was a world champion uh, 10 years ago. And still has the powers. He, he still has a gun power in his uh, legs. And 
Justin Olofsson, number one, Alessio Bernal, number two, Raimo Wigan, third, and Alfred Buskvist, the fourth, fourth place in this heat. Tas in uh, semi final, men, senior, only Russian, Norway, and Italian athletes. Yes. Uh, and we are done with the uh, quarter final for all categories. And, and right now we will have uh, some small break uh, until uh, 18. I oh, know it should be already, uh, according to the program, we should start the semi finals. So it was. Uh, we remember we had uh, some uh, pose with junior men, and now we are we need to catch up with uh, our schedule. So semi-final should start in a few minutes. So we lost some shiny sun, but uh, still spectators are waiting for, for the semi-finals and. Uh, we have some local junior men still competing in the semi-finals, so it, I hope the spectators' interest will be high, and they will also support other athletes from uh, other nations, Russia, Italy, Slovakia, uh, Germany, Norway. Selection rule for semi-final the same, uh, two best riders in each run, each hit, uh, two final to the last and uh, deciding uh, in 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 first in uh, junior women uh, start list uh, semi final uh, three uh, russian riders uh, two slovakian uh, one italian in the uh, one norway Today, the second uh, day of uh, FIS, the Roller Ski World Championship, uh, and the first day uh, it was uh, interval start races, uh, classical style. And junior uh, women, uh, the winner of the junior uh, women, uh, Anastasia Faleva from Russia, and uh, the other three pl two places uh, belong to Russian uh, skiers in this uh, group uh, as well. But uh, now, so we uh, follow the semi final uh, junior uh, women. The first uh, hit, the first run, uh, number one. Julia Henrietta Andresen, uh, Norway. Number four, Maria Popova, Russia. Uh, number five, uh, Kristina Sivokova, Slovakia. And number eight, uh, Ksenia Isaichenkova, Russia. We have a few times, uh, some a few times before the start, and that is why I try to remind you. And remind you of the results of uh, the first day uh, World Championships in Madonna, Latvia. Uh, Ten kilometers uh, interval start, uh, senior women. So the winner was uh, Natalia Nipreva from Russia. Uh, second place, uh, Lucia Scardoni, Italy, and uh, the third, Lin Sönskar, Sweden, uh, current uh, World Cup leader. Uh, men compete uh, 20K, the same classical style. Uh, junior men, the winner uh, in this group, uh, Johan Egberg, uh, current uh, World Cup leader from Sweden. Alexander Grigoriev from Russia, 
took a silver medal and the bronze medalist uh, Ula uh, speaks at uh, Norway. Yes. And now? Well, we have a break in between feet. Uh, right now, the main speaker is doing interview with the local chief of the city. Ja, nu, Itālija trīsreiz rīkojas pasaules šiemērta rolē snēpošanā, vienīgā valsts, kas vairāk nekā vienreiz rīkojas latvieši, izgods ir uzsacēts pirmo reizi, bet pēc šī te veiksmīgā pasaules šiemērta norītas varam domāt, kad arī, nu, varbūt nenākošais, bet, nu, pēc gadiem četriem vai pēc sešiem arī Latvija un Madonu uzņēmas otru reizi pasaules šiemērta. Protams, mēs jūs tos ļoti pagodināti par to, ja šis būtu pēc četri gadi, bet uz šo mēs gājām četri gadi, vai mēs panāk, ka Madonā notika pasaules čempionāts, un es ceru, ka varbūt tos sapņus nebūvēsim tik liels, ka katru gadu šeit veidosim pasaules čempionātas, vai šeit būtu arī Eiropas čempionāta, bet Madonī parādīs sevi, ka mēs varam uztaisīt diezgan lielu mēru pasākumus, un ka viņi kvalitī, un ka tiešām sportistiem patīk, līdzitējiem patīk, un ka šis pasākums ir Madonā un būs. Nu, ko tie mūsie junior konkurence ir pusvinālā, bet es domāju, arī labs iespējas viņam tika finālā. Kā tu domā? Mēs ļoti ceram, ka tiks finālā mūsā, jā, un mēs ceram, ka arī šovakar skanēs Latvijas kimnē. Un, kā tu domā, skatītāji atbalstīs, būs kārtīgi publika, mēs dzirdējām atbalsts, bet atbalsts varētu būt arī vēl skaļāks? Atbalsts tas vaiga, jo, man liekas, ka sportisti, kā teica, ka tie 10% no šīs dzīves ir tīri no atbalstītājiem. Un tāpēc atbalstīsim mūsējais, lai tiešām šovakar mēs dzirdētu mūsu Latvijas valsts himnu. Paldies, Gundi, Pķevarim, un, protams, arī, kā jau teicu, gaidīsim līdzjūtē lielisko atbalstu. And before the first uh, semi-final, uh, the main results of uh, yesterday uh, interval start, uh, men, the winner, uh, multi-time medalist, uh, Olympic and uh, world champs in cross-country skiing, uh, Alexander Balshanov uh, from Russia, the second uh, place, uh, his uh, teammate uh, Ilya Paroshkin and uh, the third place, Victor Gustafsson, Sweden. And now the air temperature about 15 centigrade, uh, not very warm. Uh, and uh, the first uh, man is uh, waiting uh, a lot of time uh, his uh, start. of the World uh, Championships uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, must start races uh, and uh, uh, the last uh, day on Sunday, team sprints. Right now we see that uh, we have strong uh, rain coming. One of the reasons why we have uh, a bit uh, pause here was technical issue regarding the equal times uh, and the, for a senior man and the equal times and qualification in, round. In, in yeah. Qualification round and therefore uh, for two men who were had equal times, the software. Uh, 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 placed the uh, two athletes in a wrong uh, heat, uh, so there was some uh, discussion between the jury members and the uh, uh, team representatives, which noticed it only after the uh, quarter-final heat. So 
there was some discussion and uh, yeah it's it's unforeseen uh, circumstances but uh, we will continue in a, in a few moments of course it's not not funny to have a, such a rain but yeah you know the ski athlete, cross country athletes are not from the sugar they have uh, been used to rain, uh, train and uh, compete in uh, minus 20 on uh, wet conditions and, and windy conditions so this is nothing uh, extra for for them but uh, the riders uh, have to adapt to uh, wet surface of uh, our asphalt uh, and it uh, it will be, uh, I think, uh, a little bit uh, a different uh, technique uh, on uh, this, on uh, these uh, wet conditions. Of course, uh, those athletes who have better, uh, maybe you know, arms and shoulders and uh, more strong on upper body, these kind of conditions can make some difference for them. Uh, and uh, those who are better on legs cannot lose uh, use the legs right now 100 uh, percent but uh, it's 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 some kind of lucky game it's uh, you must you must do what you have to do and and uh, hope for for some good chance uh. and one more technical moment uh, i think uh, very important uh, i don't know how is uh, how important uh, in during uh, this uh, uh, track. Uh, I mean the choosing of a uh, line of the lines. Um, the best rider uh, have uh, the right uh, to uh, choose uh, uh, lane uh, st uh, starting position. Uh, but uh, it seems to me it's absolutely equal. Uh, Maybe uh, the, the, the middle two lanes in the middle of the street are a bit better quality and. Uh, than the outer lanes and you can see that the street is not completely flat it's it's like a little bit like v v type and uh, just in outer parts you have more manholes on the, on the asphalt uh, so uh, and, and at last uh, the semi-final the first semi-final is started uh, and i rem remind you about the participants uh, Number one, uh, Julia Arnes in Norway. Number four, Maria Popova, Russia. Number eight, Ksenia Saishinkova, Russia. And number five, uh, Kristina Sivakova, Slovakia. Oh, Julia Arnes, uh, one of the best in qualifi qualification round. Uh, I mean, not only uh, among uh, the junior women, but uh, uh, his results. Uh, was the second uh, in the absolute ranking. So the first uh, finalist we know. Julia Henry Anderson and uh, Maria Popova. It was a quite hard hit for the girls because they were waiting quite long, uh, so freezing and, and uncertain when will be the start si time. So uh, not so easy for them, but next heat is going on. It will be already more more better flow but we can see it's already uh, is it is it false start let's see the jury members yeah angelina agafonova russia yellow cut uh, and uh, her rivals in this uh, run number four alba martania italy number six uh, sara anderson sweden and number 10 timia mazurova slovakia Oh, it seems to me the early fast start, but uh, not uh, for the judges. Uh, I mean, uh, the very fast uh, start, uh, six, the number six. Sarah Anderson. And uh, very close, uh, only half, uh, uh, only half uh, of uh, length. But now, current leader, Angelina Gafonova and uh, Sarah Anderson. And they are in final. You, you can see that on the finish line, uh, girls are uh, holding their legs. The wet asphalt makes uh, much more uh, 
stress on, on the legs and uh, you must uh, look how to say you are too much concentrate and uh, too much power spending and just to keep on uh, on your legs uh, Agafono is uh, first in this heat and Sarah Anderson second and uh, Timmy Mazuro is third and Alba Montagna is fourth. Not so good for Alba Montagna who was uh, uh, in previous years uh, going on podium. She is right now out of uh, the sprint. Probably the weather change is one of the reasons uh, why she is not able to show her best performance. Rain uh, continues, uh, and uh, now the se uh, the next uh, semifinals, uh, senior women, the first run. Number one, uh, Yellow Beep, uh, Lin Sönskar, uh, current World Cup uh, leader uh, from Sweden. In other Sweden, skier number nine, uh, Jacqueline Lochner. Aliona Prochaskova, number four, representing Slovakia, and number five, uh, Olga Litucheva. Russia. It, it seems that. Uh, okay, let's wait. Don. It's very, very tight uh, situations. A uh, lot of pressure, and this uh, sprint heat is uh, all girls are very strong and, and uh, very keen to to go to the finals. Yes, it's look like this semi-finals look like a final. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the uh, semi-finals look even uh, stronger than finals, but uh, every race is different. You know, every race starts from zero and you cannot uh, rely on your previous uh, medals on uh, titles. Litucheva, Prohaskova, Samskar, uh, the medalist of the last World Championship in Sprint and uh, now uh, they meet uh, only in semi-final. Yeah, here you can see that uh, Alona Prokhaskova was fighting with the wet asphalt. And, uh, Prokhaskova not fighting uh, after the first half. Uh, and uh, Samskar and uh, Lochner. Yes, as I said, uh, Swedish girls are more universal. They are able to adapt to the conditions. And maybe they are trained for this. These kind of weather conditions are maybe getting more power to them. Uh, and yes, they are both lucky going to A finals. And uh, Letucheva and Prochaskova is out of medals. Second. Uh, women semi final number three, Anna Bolzan. Italy, number six, uh, Maria Nidukina, Belarus, number seven, uh, Irina Sirina, uh, Russia, and number ten, Sandra Shutsova, Czech Republic. Uh, all girls are quite tight together. So at least it looks from the front of camera, but uh, uh, and Anna and uh, Irina Severina is going yeah, in front yeah. and in line. the best in this uh, race. Number three and number seven in the uh, final. So the final start list, uh, Samskar Sweden, uh, Lochner Sweden, Sivrina Russia and Bolzan Italy. And let's see who will be the most, uh, who will left most power for the final A. Lin Samskar, uh, Jacqueline Lochner, Irina Severina or Anna Bolzan. Now they have some time to rest. Think about equipment change, maybe, but and now we are preparing the semi-final for senior men, the first semi-final. Two Russians uh, at the start position: uh, number one Alexander Grigoryov and number five uh, Dmitry Karakosov. Сразу двое российских представителей в этом полуфинале. Number nine, Denis Tilesh, uh, Slovakia, and number 12, uh, representing Lithuania, Paulus uh, Januskevichus. Alexander Grigoryev. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is a senior man. Senior man? Senior man. Oh, why? No, no, sorry. 
junior man. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. my fault. I, I already I have the senior man list on, on in front of me and looking on the glory and thinking about Bronya. So all the no nervous uh, uh, situation, not uh, uh, only at the start position, but in commentary position as well. <laughs> yes, it's anomaly under some stress. <laughs> Alexander Grigoriev, the main contender, I think, uh, because uh, uh, he won second place in the last uh, World uh, Cup uh, and uh, he won silver medal yesterday uh, race uh, and now he is a leader. And uh, the other Russian Karakosov uh, runner-up in this race uh, and the two Russians in final. Two Russian sprinters in the final Only Italian uh, sprinters used uh, diagonal uh, technique uh, in the first uh, starting um, section. In very interesting uh, second uh, semi final with participation of two Latvian uh, skiers. Uh, it's interesting for local spectators, of course, but. Um, Yes, uh, but still we have Ilya Proskurin with his uh, second qualification in time here and also Amon Koraset uh, from Norway. So, uh, Five start number seven, uh, what uh, jury decision, judges, what judges decision? Yes. So I, I see it, two athletes was uh, lining uh, Leaning on a starting line, but uh, let's see what will jury decide. The yellow card goes for the for the Norwegian athlete Amund. And, uh, After the first uh, World Cup stage in China, uh, the current leader in the senior men World Cup, uh, Johannes Klebo. Yes. <laughs> He absent uh, at this uh, World Cup champs uh, and uh, can the Latvian riders? Uh, yes. No, no, no. We wait for the finish. Wait for yeah, the finish. Uh, three riders simultaneously coming to finish line. Uh, number seven, uh, the winner of this race, semi-final. And number two, Ilya Praskurian or Nix Saulitis. The final kick was uh, this is yes. decisive in this uh, heat, and the Amund Corset is a uh, winner, and the Nix Saulitis has a second place, uh, and Ilya Praskurian uh, left the third place. So the final uh, junior uh, men, two Russians, uh, Grigoriev Karakosov. Uh, Saulitis, uh, Latvia and uh, Corset, uh, Norway. And now the first uh, semi-final men senior. Number one unbeatable today, Dmitry Baronian from Russia. Uh, another Russian skier, Ivan Zelinsky, number four. Michele Valerio, Italy, number eight, and uh, Norwegian, Norwegian uh, sprinter Christian Ankersen, number 13. Lucky or unlucky, big 13. Yes, it depends uh, on you. Pay attention uh, to the first uh, steps by uh, Viti Varonin. All equipment uh, must be behind the starting line, so it seems that uh, some part of wheel is still on uh, line when the common set is made. So, at coaches now, but uh, starting judges making uh, the recall. You can, it seems that. <sighs> <laughs> 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 
yeah. The judge uh, noted this. Uh, they're going. And they get very different uh, techniques uh, by Russians, by Italian, but uh, who is the better? It's, it's not the fifth athlete, it's cameraman running behind. But look at the very fast running number four and the number 13. 13, uh, lucky. Varonin out of the race, it's sensation. It seems that Ankersen, uh, it's, it's, it's wet conditions is better for him, he is lighter. He don't need so much uh, gravitation and grip, and he can uh, go forward with uh, much more speed on a wet asphalt. Varioni is much heavier, so for him, uh, it's, uh, he must not. It's not up for his technique. Yes, for this technique, it's maybe not the best uh, option to go. But the other Russian. Ivan Zelinski in final. Together with uh, Christian Ankersen for sure. And the last semi-final. Uh, which, which looks like, like a final if you look on uh, names, but it's just a semi-final. Two Italian versus uh, two Norwegian. Number nine, uh, Andersen, Ragnar Bragwin. Number three, Justin Olofsson. Number seven, Becky Semenuel, Italy in Berlin. Number six uh, from Italy. And uh, it, it, it must be a final, but uh, they meet uh, in semi final. Yeah. Oh, unfortunately, Emanuele Becky uh, lost the kiss. Uh, a title of world champion current. Yeah, he, he gave up already 50 meters before finishing, and both Norwegians are. Yeah. Ragnar Andersen uh, now will fight for the first place, uh, like uh, in World Champ uh, Championships uh, 2011. Um, I would say that Ragnar is rising as a phoenix from the ashes. Uh, he's a uh, last time last year he, he dedicated his his uh, time more for training of young athletes, but he's still trying to keep his form and it's paying back for him. At least he's right now in the finals in World Championships and he has possibility to get one more medal. The situation, the uh, uh, south list in the senior men the final looks like. Uh, in winter competition, three Nor uh, Norway uh, guys uh, in a roster of uh, four athletes. Yes, three Norway and one Russian. Okay, now right now we will have some uh, small break, and uh, according to program, we should uh, start the. Finals already 10 minutes before, but uh, it was some, uh, as I told before, some technical uh, discussions between jury members and the team representatives regarding the selection for the water finals. But we are catching up. Right now the Timekeeping is preparing for the, for the final. So we now schedule off uh, the second day of the Roller Ski World uh, Championship uh, in Madonna in uh, Latvia. Only uh, four runs, uh, but uh, this is uh, the main, uh, this is the most interesting uh, and this is deciding uh, runs. Uh, runs uh, for the gold uh, and other medals, for the podiums. Yes. Yeah, you can see Becky, which is unlucky. He was, he had a lot of expectations uh, coming here to Madonna. And yes, but uh, this is life. You, you see. After the first uh, day in unofficial, I think uh, it's an official uh, team ranking. Uh, uh, 
Russia leads uh, with the three uh, victories in four races. But uh, today, the race, I think, could uh, change uh, this rank. And uh, number one and number six uh, representing Sweden, Sarah Andersson. Итак, пас финал у юниорок две российские представительницы против норвежской спортсменки и шведской. It seems that Julie Andersson is unbeatable today. She is moving much faster than other athletes. She has some power left. Congratulations to Julia Henrietta Arnesen, the first winner in Norwegian team. Am I right? Yes. I mean, uh, uh, yesterday uh, races. We have first title for today for Norway. Julie Henrik Arnesen, second place for Angelina Agafonova, third for Ksenia. Saichenko and the fourth place for Sarah Andersson from Sweden. It's very nice to see these emotions. Even if you have no sun, it's cloudy and rainy, but the girls are shining. And the first World Cup points for Junior in this season. Yes, uh, the first stage in, in Beijing was only for seniors because of uh, far travel and uh, not all, all teams was not able to cover the cost for juniors so it's first first separate event for juniors in this season but for the uh, women uh, this is the second uh, world cup stage but the most important of course uh, the title of the world uh, champion yes uh, lin samskar was uh, unbeatable in uh, in beijing in the first stage but of course here is a new day with different nations and different athletes who are also willing to compete for the medals to swedish right arm number one lin Sonskar and number nine jacqueline lochner 
Ирина Северина, Россия, Россия и номер три Анна Больцан, Италия. In the beginning of distance, both Swedish uh, athletes are going in front uh, with the leading of uh, Alin Somskar. But let's wait until the finish. And the bronze medalist of the last uh, world champions became uh, the first one. Uh, now he's a world uh, champion. And uh, of course, uh, she is a current leader in the World Cup at the two stage. Uh, yes. Uh, Lin Somskar is the first place, and Anna Bolzan. No, uh, Jacqueline Lochner is in second place, Anna Bolzan is third, and Irina Severina is fourth place. Lin Somskar is really happy. The day for the Swedish girls was quite lucky. And right now we are switching to the junior men final. Swedish sprinter, one of the best in winter, cross country, real cross country, and in summer as well. Yes. Final for junior men, number one, Alexander Grigoriev for Russia, number five, Dmitry Karakosov, Russia, снова двое российских спринтеров в финале у юниоров, number seven, Armand Korsat, Norway, and number three, Nix Saulidis, Latvia. Selection of uh, lanes, probably, yes. What is the order of uh, the selection for uh, the lane? For quarterfinals, uh, you select according to qualification, for semifinals, according to the quarterfinals, or for the finals, according to the place in the semifinals. So it's, it's the same as in cross country. It's un unclear what they are trading about. Are they trading uh, starting spots? Two more run, junior men final and uh, senior men final left for today. Twenty seconds of tension, and then it's then we know who will be the three best. Alexander Grigoriev won silver medal yesterday at uh, two, 20 uh, kilometers uh, classical style interval start uh, and uh, now he can won the second medal in this uh, champ without fast start uh, this will run uh, and uh, i think it will be real fighting uh, for the title of the world uh, champion and now the current leaders uh, to Russians, uh, Karakosov number five and uh, number one Grigoriev. Uh, but uh, the new world champion number five, uh, Dmitry Karakosov, Russia. Dmitry Karakosov, uh, firmly становится uh, чемпионом мира. Congratulations to Dmitry. The second place is for Alexander Grigoriev and we will wait for the third place. Is it? Nick Saulitz or Amund Corset. And, and the medal goes to the Nick Saulitz. Yes, you, you can hear, you can see hear the emotions of spectators. It was very, very tight, but uh, yes, it's probably the only medal, not probably, it's, it's for sure, it's the only medal we can have today for local national team of Latvia. It's, uh, 
some joy also for Latvian team and local spectators. But of course, the winner was a, like a new winner, world champion, Dmitry Caruso. Congratulations to bronze medalist representing Latvia. It's very important for the local uh, audience, uh, spectators, uh, of course, and uh, for organizing committee as well, and uh, for the Latvian uh, uh, cross country ski and the rally uh, cross country ski. And the last uh, final, final for uh, men. I didn't remember that we would we would uh, have uh, finals with three uh, three athletes from one nation uh, in uh, world championships in roller ski, but right now we have three Norway and one Russian athlete competing. Only Ivan Zelinski compete with uh, three uh, Norway uh, riders. Uh, and uh, number nine, uh, Ragnar Bergen Andersson. He is uh, now again world uh, champions. Uh, and uh, now he is a two times world uh, champion. Uh, but who is the second uh, silver and uh, the third bronze medalist? Uh, the second is Joisten Olafsen, also from Norway. And the third is. Uh, we're still waiting for the third place. I can say that Anderson Ragnar was here already two weeks before here in Madonna. He was a coach for junior camp. Uh, so he was, uh, was uh, teaching and training the new juniors uh, from five nations. And probably he had done some trainings also here. So maybe this paid back today for him. You, you can see Baroni. Unlucky. 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 Yes. Uh, yeah. But we are still waiting for third, for bronze medal in uh, World Championships. Uh, very interesting. So the winner, uh, number nine. So uh, Anderson uh, show only, shows only nine results in qualification. But uh, in the final stages, uh, he was the best. Yes, uh, he has a very good experience. Uh, I would not, I would say the best experience, but he is very able to to how to say to prepare himself he can be calm guy outside the track but when he uh, on the starting line you can see he's uh, how to say burning and now we can see that uh, christian ankersen is number three so all three places go to the norway team in senior men and the fourth place left only for ivan Zelinski. So the uh, World uh, Champion in Sprint uh, Ski Rollers uh, Competition uh, 2011, uh, bronze medalist uh, in the next uh, World Champs uh, 2013. Now the World uh, Champion again, Ragnar uh, Bragvin Andresen, Norway. Yes. It was a great honor uh, for me to, to assist, uh, to uh, commenting this event and uh, Let's see, we will have some interviews maybe with the leaders uh, in a few minutes uh, before the flower ceremony. I am not sure, uh, but I hope that... Uh, Yesterday, a wedding ceremony, like uh, an opening ceremony, uh, was uh, under the rain weather. And again, again, rain help us, I think. <laughs> And uh, yes, today it will be right now will be flower ceremony near the finish area. But uh, later in the evening, those teams and athletes and spectators who are in Madonna are invited to the uh, on, uh, concert and official prize giving ceremony in a city square. So I hope the rain will come down and it will be good uh, night event here in Madonna. And you can see the technical delegate Alexander Velischuk. He is right now a bit relaxed uh, uh, after uh, so tight and tough schedule of today's event. Uh, the sprint is uh, one of the technically most stressful events for the jury members on, on uh, all all C members. Uh, but maybe for spectators, it's much of the most of the exciting event to follow.
There's a lot of action and uh, un unforeseen. Uh. It's so lovely. The, the, the feeling is so beautiful. So, yeah, I've just I've been here for I think 11 days now in Madonna, and I enjoy every second. So thank you very much, everybody. So the, uh, yes, your last victory came uh, only eight years ago, and the last World Championship were just behind the podium. And uh, as you told, you started with the ninth time in the qualification, and then you felt a little bit worried there. But uh, with each stage, you maybe felt better and better. Yeah, it was that way. I just felt better, better, and now I just want. Looking forward to, especially the Sunday and the team sprint. That's my specialty. But tomorrow as well. I, I hope it. You all will show up and share what else tomorrow. And yeah. It feels a little, ah, have I been here for so long now? So it's a little bit my uh, home spirit being here. So ah, thank you, everybody. I hope to see all of you tomorrow. Yeah, in the final, you, you said maybe a little bit worried the, the previous but stages yeah, with the speed. Also, but uh, in the final, it looked like you won easily. You were not surprised that it came so easily, your victory. Everything worked out well in the final. I just pushed so clean and everything worked out well. So ah, ah, I, I, I was sure that I did a good race, so if any, half the way, if anybody should beat me, I was thinking, then they are, then they deserve it, because I'm skiing so fast right now. So, but taking our gold medal today is really emotional. Because we saw so close battles in this heat, and in the, in the final, you could relax some 15 meters before the finish line. I could actually do that, and I, 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 I couldn't dream about that for half a year ago. But I have struggled so much the last year, so ah, just happy. And uh, did you, you said that you enjoyed the race and uh, you saw, you're thinking that the public was also quite uh, nice and uh, supportive? Yeah, they are. I have, yeah, the little last week I got a lot of friends in Madonna, so, so uh, a lot of people are sharing at me and smiling. And you're all so beautiful, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Nagon, thank you, gratulier Ragnar, that Ragnar is a coach of Madonna, Pazistamska, Brandavins, and you're a coach of Bragvins. Viņš jau Madonā jūtās kā savās mājās. Tu redzēji no kādās intervijas, kā tu norvēsi ļoti laimīgs, priecīgs un noteikti arī tu nesoties to, ka nav pirmā vieta, bet Latvijas pirmā medaļa priecīgs ļoti par trešo vietu, lai gan izties ļoti saguras. Nē, esmu priecīgs, apmierināts, sarežģīti laikapstākļi, grūti, grūti kaut ko izdarīt, šos mīs līdzi, bet visiem vienmēr ir skatīgi. Nu kā tev bija vakardien pa lietu braukt klasiskajā stilā 20 km? Vakardien pieļauk ļoti trešajā apēļu nokritu, bet tas mums vēl izsida no ritma, bet tā mēr cīņos viss kārtībā spēcīja konkurence, prieks startē. Tu vakar teizi cīnījies, līdz galam arī nesoties uz kritienu, bet vai tev prātā arī stāvēja šīs dienas sprints ar to, ka varbūt nevajag izlikt maksimālu spēku, lai pietiktu arī šodien parādīt savu labāku rezultātu savā galvenajā startā? Jā, protams, sprints jau bija uz prioritāte, kur mēs varam kaut ko parādīt arī pārējiem spēcīgām valstīm. Tas ir mūsu, ko mēs varam. Nu, kur tev no visiem kārtām likās tā pati grūtākā? It kā likās, nu, cedē fināli diezgan viegli arī pusfināls, vai tā tā no malas izstījās kā pašam? Cedē fināli brauciens bija salīdzinoši vienkārši, taču pusfināls bija spēcīgs, ļoti, ļoti, ļoti tuvu braucām un sanāca fināli. Nu, teiksim, tu biji šajā te malajā celiņā, tas Norvejas, ar ko tev bija jācīnās, bija tālākajā celiņā, vai tu jūti, ka viņš ir pavisam tūk, ka jūs līdzīgi ēdi par šo te trešo vietu? Jā, jūtu, protams, var redzēt ar acu aktiņiem, kur konkurenti atrodas, un jā, protams, redzēt. Kaut kāds 10 vēl 5 metrus līdz finišām likās, nu pavisam tu viens otrā, bet nu kaut kā beidzamās 3 metros, tu tā to kāju izliku, nu jau bija vairāk centimetru priekšā, tā kā noteikti arī gatavoja šo te finiša spurtu, tu izklupienu, jo tas ir ārkārtīs būtisks šajā te sprintā. Jā, protams, katrai kustībai šeit ir ļoti svarīga nozīme, un jā, protams, gatavojamies sprintam. Un kā vēl divas dienas paliek šeit pasaules čempionātām. Rīdien ir masu starta distance brīvajā stilā un sēdien ir komandas sprints. Nu, rīdien arī diezgan nogurdinoši distance daudz spēks prasa. Vai jums ir tāds arī savstarpēji kaut kādu vienošanās, ko darīt? Protams, līdz jau te gaida arī labs rezultāts, bet ņemot ārā, cik labi jūs nostartējāt ar Ilvaru kopumā. Jums ir labs izveids vēlreiz Latvijai nodrošināt kādu medaļu komandas sprintā. Jūs nesat tikai izteikt sprinteri, bet arī distanši braucēji, vai tomēr rīdien arī iesiet uz maksimumu? 
Rītdien, protams, iesim Marijos pilnu programmu, mēģināsim turēties grupā ar visiem kopā un svētdien, jā, veikam akcentu uz sprintu. Un kurš no jums brauks to beidzumu etapu sprintā vēl nav izlēmts vēl? Laikam es tomēr braukšu pēdējo. Nu ko, sveicam Nika Saulīte ar Latvijai pirmo mēdāju pasaules čemināta rolē slēpošanā. Bet varbūt, ka tas nav vēl nav viss, vēl ir sveidien komandas sprints. Tā kā gaidīsim sveidienu, protams, nāk ar trīdienu. Rīdienu pulksteni trijos sāksies masas starta distanci. And I will speak with the, the Swedish Lin Somskar. So congratulations with the victory in the Swedish. Maybe a little bit in English, yeah. I will understand a little bit, but not everybody here. So congratulations with the victory. That's the sixth gold for you in this roller skiing. You know, you don't know, me know. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. You started with the third place. You were going for the victory yesterday. You were not a little bit surprised that you were finished only third yesterday? Oh, also on your prior really strong and Scadoni from Italy? Um, not surprised maybe, but I wanted to be a little bit closer maybe. <laughs> but, uh, but today I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, but uh, what uh, can you compare? Because uh, last uh, World Championship you won the distance races and team sprint. And in a sprint event you were third and also you have uh, some little bit problems with the sprint. And, like in this, uh, and now you're winning finally gold in a sprint event. Yeah, but uh, I won this one before, like four years ago, and uh, I won the one in uh, Beijing, last World Cup. Uh, so and I so I knew that I I'm good at, at this type of course when it's uphill. So um, I was just going hard and with my strength in the upper body most because of the rain, and uh, it worked. So did you notice that in the semi-final, in your heat, you were all three ladies from the podium last World Championship, Prochaskova, you and Letucheva? Yeah, we talked about that, me and Jacqueline. <laughs> yeah, and Jacqueline also did a very, very good race and winning her first medal. So for you, that's, uh, I don't know how many medals, some 10 maybe, but the six goals or so, and Jacqueline first, uh, first medal. So, but uh, two races and you will go with Jacqueline uh, team sprint on a Sunday? Uh, we will see. The, it's the coach's uh, choice, so we will go hard tomorrow and see what's happened. And uh, tomorrow they must start. Uh, do you have some tactics uh, by going away from the group or staying in the group and uh, then uh, using your sprint uh, finish abilities? Um, nothing that I'm going to say right now. <laughs> so let's enjoy your victory and now flower ceremony will follow very soon and then uh, some minutes later the award ceremony. That was uh, Lin Somskar from Sweden, six gold medal. And uh, we have also a few, a few words uh, with uh, uh, Yuli Arneson. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to start the flower ceremony for the second day of the World Championship uh, Sprint event. Dams and Gungsak sing with the ceremony, Pasol Chimratoti at the Sprint. Junior woman, junior maintenance, into the third place, Tresha Vieta, Tretje Mesta, Ksenia Isaychenkova, Russia. Utrija Vieta, second place, Tretje Mesta, Angelina Agafonova, Russia. On Uzvrata, the winner. First place, Julie Arneson, uh, Norge, Norway. We will say some applause him. Uh, applause is for the best of three fastest uh, sprint uh, junior woman to the Norway and Russia.
Thank you very much. Uh, Tak, Sasiwa. And the top three for the senior woman in the sprint event. Uh, third place. So third place for the senior woman, Trecia Vieta. Terzo posto, Anna Bolzan, Italy. And double victory for the Sweden into the second place. Uh, Andre Blas Jacqueline Luckner. <laughs> On Uzuratai into the first place. Lin Sumskar, Sweden Sverium. Also them, congratulations, applause is gratulated. And next is junior men. And for the junior men sprint event, into the third place, Tresia Vieta, Nix Solitis, Latvia Madwana. Into the second place, Udria Vieta, Troimist, Alexander Grigoriev, Russia. Luzuratais, the winner, Pavidzitil, Dmitry Karakosov, Russia. Uslodem, Laba Kotrinek, I'm applauses, applaudismenti. Well, yes, spasiba. Thank you. And now, finally, the senior men. In the senior men sprint event into the third place, uh, 30 plus Christian Ankersen, Norrigan. This is the Norsk Masters Cup here. Norwegian Championships are here. Into the second place, Andre Plas, Udria Vita, Justin Olafsson, Norway, Norrigan. Luzratais, the winner, winner in there. Also from Norge, Norway, Ragnar Bragvin Andresen. Applause, applause is gratulated. Thank you, athletes. Thank you, spectators. So now you can move to the the famous square. We will start award ceremony in some five minutes' time. Yeah, because uh, we finish a little bit later than expected. The song. You are kindly asked to move to the stage.
it's uh, some half a kilometer from here, some 400 meters. And then we will start award ceremony for the second day. That was flower ceremony. Thank you. And let's uh, meet in five minutes time at the award ceremony.